game. I mean, not that one. I did manage to kill one of them, but the other one is so like the actual stump of it is so big. I don't have I don't have a chainsaw to get that stump off. So basically, I've just been like using um you know like the big trimmer things and getting every single branch off that I possibly can and wrapping it in plastic and hoping for the best because it's quite literally like if you guys hadn't seen this tree I've shown pictures of it of my yard before it's coming out under my shed and it's actually lifting my shed off the ground like it's busting up from under the shed and like it's like it could borderline be holding the shed up at this point <laughs> like I don't know but Scott I mean bless his heart he's such a like He's such a sweet guy. He's like, I won't, I don't want to kill anything in the yard. I'm like, okay, but it's killing the shed. <laughs> like, I want to keep the shed. <laughs> Me too. And the fact, well, so that you want to know my project this year? Um, because we have like my, no, no grass or anything grows in my yard. There's just been this overwhelming, I mean, I've shown you guys pictures of me standing in the weeds that were growing in my yard the first year I lived here. They could grow taller. They were taller than me. They were taller than six foot. Like they were huge and it was overrun and so for like two years straight zach and i were out there pulling them and they have t these it's like one of them is a mallow plant they're really cute they have like lily plaid leaf lily pad leaves but one plant spreads over like four feet and blocks the sunlight so nothing else can grow so then you end up with fucking mud in the winter time and they have a tap root i mean well it can be longer than this it's like a carrot and you have to you have to get the tap root out or the fucking plant comes back so um, what I did this year was I got a bunch of, like, black weed sheeting. I don't know what else to call it. It's basically, like, black tarp shit that you roll out across your yard, and then you, you spray it with a hose, and it cooks whatever's underneath it down to the root. Like, it bakes the plants underneath and kills the fuck out of them. So, no shit. This was, like, a month ago. I rolled out half of the big part of my yard in this black sheeting because I just – I'm not going to put chemicals in my yard. I refuse, and I just want these weeds gone so I can grow something viable – like b vegetables beans i don't know something and we had that windstorm right before my sister got here i shit you not so i put all this black sheeting in the yard and i the way it's like held in is with steel u spikes you know they like spread out underground and they really rake them in but then my dogs don't trip on them the wind was so strong it ripped all of that sheeting out of my yard and flung those steel spikes at my neighbors like the steel spikes were in their yard which is hilarious i'm glad everyone was okay but i put them back down but what was cool is the black sheeting was only down for three weeks, and it fucking killed everything. I mean, it was like scorched earth under those things. But no chemicals involved. None. Like, I did not chemical my yard, and it murdered. I mean, and I put it back up, obviously, because I wanted to keep cooking them. But, like, that was really nice, because... I sense a great weight <sighs> bearing down on you, young one. Not quite as bad as what old Atlas got, but still... I have nothing wrong with natural things growing in my yard, by the way. I want natural things growing in my yard. But a lot of natural things destroy the environment for anything else to grow. And that's what those mallow plants do. What do you advise as my next move, Commander? Do yes, you greens. enemy in the underworld? Or come to the aid of Olympus? I grew greens and potatoes last year. This year I have, I have a little bag. I bought these seeds fucking ages ago. I don't know. But they're called Mardi Gras beans. I think they're just some sort of runner bean. But all the beans are different colors on the inside. Like they're purple, yellow, and green. Like Mardi Gras colors. They seem fun. I love to garden. I really don't want a lawn. I think lawns are a waste of time. I'd much rather grow vegetables everywhere. But I'm just trying to get some sort of root structure in to hold the mud together so then I can garden. It's it's very annoying. Wait, how knives? Without the use of a car because I cannot get a car in my yard. I've tried, like I've thought about that, like hitching it and pulling it because I have the tow package on my Jeep. I could fucking pull it out if I could get my Jeep in my yard. Well, not to be all greedy here, but I say go wherever you can get the stuff you need the most right now. We got some stuff down here they don't got up there and so on, right? That makes sense. I suppose. Dramonic, yes. Keep honestly, like, I understand wanting your neighbors to control noxious weeds that are destroying natural environments, like those mallows, because they seriously, one plant blocks the sunlight for anything else, and then nothing else can grow. And I understand my neighbors, like, if I left all that out, they'd be like, now it's going to blow in my yard and I'm going to have to deal with these things. Like, that's respectable. But having natural plants and shit is absolutely the way to go. If you look at the history of lawns, no shit. The history of the lawn is to show people 
how wealthy you are and how much land you don't have to work. I'm not kidding. Look at how much work people put into a lawn these days. It's gone so backwards. Grow a vegetable. A pickaxe. That's what I did to the other one. No shit. Yeah, they're so... I mean, if anything, if you don't want a lawn or something, do zero scaping. I think zero scaping is the way to go. Like, rock scaping and shit like that. Because it's just lawns. This one. I mean, if you live in a dry area, you know what it's like when people nice start watering their lawn. You're just like, are you fucking kidding me? We live in the desert. We live in the desert and you're sprinkling water on some green fucking grass you don't touch. What are you doing? Um, what were we using? We were using, oh, Hera. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Let's do some pussy. What up, reasonable? How are you, lover? Grow big lawn and then spend $8 a pound for organic vegetables instead of just growing the shit yourself. What the fuck, though? Have you ever seen that meme that's like, it just shows a little old man holding like a cucumber. It's like, organic, or what Nan and Gramps called food. I really like that one. Right. <laughs> so, Vile said that they update it so you prioritize a tool, but like, you have a chance of being able to use any of them at any time, which is pretty fucking sick. The pick. So I'm gonna prioritize my pick. <laughs> We shall see. Let's go downstairs this time. Once more, then. You have to dig deep enough to get it all the way out, and that shed, that's the thing. I, so no shit knives. I went into the shed recently to, like, I grabbed some barrel for Burning Man stuff or something, and the tree has burst through the ground of the shed. Like, that shed, it's, I honestly, the shed itself just needs a new floor. I honestly think I could hack that floor up, tip that shed sideways, kill the tree, and build a new floor on that shed, and the shed would be perfect. Because all the rest of the shed is in immaculate condition. It's kind of crazy. Like, it's got a second floor and, like, a ladder. It's a pretty big shed. And that wood is, like, glowing golden. Like, it's all in fucking perfect condition. But the floor has been... It literally has busted out. But it's, like, under a workbench in there, so you can barely see it. I, it has to be, like, tipped or something. I don't know what else to do. It's crazy. Because the rest of the shed is seriously... It all looks almost brand new. I mean, it, it looks really nice inside. <laughs> beginning assignment. I made sure to give all the native plants in my Austin house was nice because I didn't have to do anything to them and they survived the drought season. Season exact. That's what I'm aiming for. It's exactly what I'm aiming for. There should never be a moment where I'm like, oh, I better water. Like, these are native plants. This is their environment. Here's a fourth. I bid you do as does the shark, my niece. Surely you know the shark. A hunting fish that swiftly surges ever forward in relentless pursuit of its prey. I don't think we would know what a shark is. I don't think so. Wait, uh... So from what I can see, your best bet is to get a rotor, start composting. That's what I've been doing, kind of no shit. So there's a service in, um, in Denver where you can call them and what basically it's the tree trimmers and they mulch all the shit that they trim off of the trees of the city throughout the year and if you call them in time it's first come first serve they will come give you a free dump truck of mulch every year and so every year i've been getting this free dump truck of mulch and one wheelbarrow at a time bringing it into my backyard because i can't get it into the fucking yard via, via a car or anything and slowly hand rototilling it into the mud because I'm poor and I don't have a rototiller. It's been a fucking nightmare. But my shoulders look great. So. <sighs> Anyways. Um, special. <coughs> Trek truck! I wish. That was the biggest mistake in this fence. Is I didn't think to put a, a, like, a place to get a car into my backyard or anywhere. So I have to. I mean it's It's exhausting. <laughs> How are you, Mo? Let's begin. It's an that get out of my knives. That's exactly what I said out loud to myself. I was in there just like organizing shit around, and I literally was like, "Oh, fuck!" Because <laughs> like, not only does that mean my shed is pretty much fucked, like the floor is absolutely, absolutely fucked. Um, that means that all the cats of the neighborhood. Satisfactory. Are gonna get in my shed. Like, I know it. I know Willard's gonna be in there. And my dogs are gonna lose their fucking minds. <laughs> it's gonna become a fucking cat haven in there. 
My apartment complex stopped bl planting brad. Oh, sperm trees. Oh, vile, shut the fuck up. You guys have cum trees in Chicago? Those are cum trees. Get the fuck out, vile. I'm not kidding you. Every three feet in Maryland, there is a goddamn brad for pear. And this time of year, the entire city smells like old jizz. We call, it's a known, it's like a thing in Baltimore. We call them the cum trees because they smell like old jizz. Brad for pears. Do you guys not call them that? Yes, knives, I will. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll take a picture of the fucking floor hole. <laughs> Dad did that to his property and lined the driveway with tree stumps. Dude, fuck yeah, that's kind of cool. Semen trees, same. Kills nose, they're the semen trees. A rotten fish tree? I mean... I know you're a clean person, Vile, so this probably hasn't happened to you, but if you've ever had the pleasure of living with three older brothers going through their teenage years, old cum kind of smells like fish. Boys come on everything. <laughs> did they take away my permit button again? They sure did. Cunt. If I have a mod, I think my mods might have pieced because of the game, but if I have a mod, if you want to give kind of permit, that'd be cool. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, kills. I fucking appreciate you. Yeah, um, and on that note, I think Bradfords are... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the cum trees are illegal because they're invasive or something, right? Like, we're not allowed to plant them anymore, but I don't think so. I know, Kills, but you's working and you have kids to take care of and shit. I don't want to, like, I feel bad. Yeah, Dramonic, yeah. it's. I think in some areas it's illegal. I don't know. I mean, they were in Baltimore, they were obviously planted on purpose. Like, they, are, they line all the streets. They are fucking everywhere. And they're gorgeous. For those who have driven around the East Coast, they look like a cherry tree. Like, they're covered in white blossoms. I think they're a Bradford pair. They kind of look like a type of dogwood or something. But they, the pollen that they emit profusely smells like old jizz. And it's fucking gross. This time of year stinks real bad. I guess that's one, one pro to living somewhere where there's no trees. No cum trees. No. Yep, they look like a dogwood with the little white flowers. You know, Kill's funny story. I learned the other day that the dogwood is allegedly like maybe the oldest tree that lives today like one of the oldest species of tree or whatever that lives today crazy i didn't know they were prehistoric like that harry she's scared girl, i don't know that you've got what it takes to thwart the titan but what choice do we have at this point i'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt she's kind of got what is that accent but what choice do we have at this point? I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. What is that accent? It's a little bit of this, like, posh, like... Oh, I love it. Um, Pritzker is trying to make him illegal in Illinois. We call him... We can call the city for a free tree replacement. I called, but since I don't own the land inside the complex, they couldn't remove it. Boo! They'll even replace it for free? What the fuck? <coughs> I tried to plant one and it died. But I have good luck with maples. Maples are the best anyways. You're winning. My two um, Aspens are doing really good right now. I'm so happy. Is it Central Atlantic? I was going to say that. It's like that accent they had in like old movies, right? But everything was kind of at the, the front of your mouth a little and very proper, but not English. It was just this weird way of talking. Mid-Atlantic or something like that. Yeah, I think you're right. It's cool. I like it. I like that I put it on there. It makes her a little snobbier. Ooh. Yes, please. Our bond really yeah, the transatlantic. Is it transatlantic? Mid-Atlantic accent is the fucked up shit that kills and I kind of bastardize. Earn, 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 earn. Aaron earned an iron urn. I still can't do it. Fuck. You know what? That's... I think that's mid-Atlantic. Transatlantic, I think, is the one. I think that's like the... the that like... Very proper whatever accent that happened. <gasps> David, no shit. I think the same thing. That, I also hear Irish in it. It's like it's a little breathier and very much in the front of the mouth. I've heard that as well. And from what I've read, 
a shit ton of Scottish and Irish settlers went to, like, my family settled in uh, Wisconsin and one other, uh, PA, like, Pittsburgh area, and then went west from there, all the Irish and the Scots. But I've heard, that it's not identical, like, please don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm like, oh my god, they're the same, but there's something in it. And I've heard that for years now. Like, when you hear someone with that, with that from the middle, it's like, it's a little bit of this, like, lilt or something. You're like, oh, man, you can hear the remnants. It's cool. The PA Dutch accent, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got the ba bastardized Baltimore. They're very similar, but not the same. Coward County. <laughs> CJ, have I told you my dad is buried in Wisconsin? And his mother? I should say my grandma, but I didn't fucking know her. So weird. I've never seen his grave, but he's buried in um, Bailey's Harbor, if you know where that is. Yeah, I have pictures of his gravestone. I found them on accident online, but I've never seen his gravestone. Um, but yeah, Bailey's Harbor, if you know where Bailey's Harbor is. Uh, my, my, my genetic sperm donor's corpse is there. So random, so random. Because his whole family was from New York. Like, I still don't know why they were buried in Wisconsin. It's so weird. But I definitely had a lot of family who traversed the middle. I think they all had to, right? Mostly, for the most part. Aaron earned an iron urn. But I'm terrible at saying Irish wristwatch. Oh, what the fuck is that? I hate that. Cheers. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Lancaster? You guys want to go to Lancaster for the weekend? It'll be a wicked awesome. <laughs> That's how they say it, right? Lancaster, yeah. I think so. I haven't heard someone. <laughs> I know. But they're great. It's like Gloucester. It doesn't make sense the way we say it, though, Kills. You have to. Lancaster. It doesn't make sense. It makes more sense the way that people fucked up say it. Gloucester is spelt Gloucester. What do we say? Gloucester. Lancaster. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say it was right. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> Fucking fair. <laughs> These are things you get called out later in life and you're like, I didn't know I said, said shit fucked up things. <laughs> Cheers. They do it in Colorado, though. Oh, my God. It's so bad. It's, like, almost blatant racist disrespect on Spanish pronunciation. Like, oh, God, what's the... I think it's a city literally called Pueblo, but no, no, no. They pronounce it Pueblo. There's weird... Or, like, the state is supposed to be Colorado, but the city just south of me is Colorado Springs. Cheers. Oh my god, CJ, yes, I know the exact thing you're talking about. I love that accent. <coughs> New Ye I hate it. I already fucked it up, Mishy. Unique New York. I was taught how to speak quickly and efficiently, not well. Should be useful. Seriously, David, that's fucked up. <coughs> I never liked increased boon rarity either. It's I've never go for it unless I it's you know prophesized and I have to. Elgin, Elgin, or Elgin? Is it Elgin or Elgin? Soft G, hard G. Wakunda says it differently from Wakanda. That is not the same. Elgin, Elgin. I would never pronounce it Elgin. That sounds, that's like saying Jif. What the fuck? Aren't those your favorite people? 
You know, the creator called it Jif, right? Okay. Come here! Mama wants a tickle. Dude, I'm doing really well. Same. I mean, if you... What does the acronym stand for? Graphic. G. G. Not graphic. It's not a graphic. It's a graphic. Like, the creator had a special moment, me thinks. Dude, oh my god. I ran across the funniest... Uh, I'm assuming it's a TikTok that I just saw weeks later on Instagram because I'm old. But it was on that exact topic, David. It was... I think it's probably like a test or something like a, one of those things that it's like ch a challenge for Scottish people. Like say these words. Oh my God. I can't even remember what they were, but they were words I would have never guessed. You couldn't. Burglar was on there though. The burglar. Every person. But, and they would, I mean, one of the dudes on there couldn't stop cry laughing at himself at the hilarity of it because his mouth couldn't stop. He'd be like, <laughs> Like, he couldn't stop on the last R as he'd keep rolling, and he was crying in tears, because he... It's like me with... I'm not going to do it. I he can't do it. I loved it so much. I love shit like that. It's like ask, It's like pointing to places on a map in Washington State and telling people... Asking people to pronounce certain words, because they're all tribe names, and they are bizarre, to say the least. Hard to, uh... Very hard to pronounce a lot of the time, and people get so weird with those pronunciations. They're amazing. Ah! No! Fuck. Ugh. Get out of the fucking shitballs, titties. It's no use. Piss. What you can't. Ponce de oh. Choosing moms choose Jif. That's facts. Yes. Or squim. Puyallup, squim. I mean, even the most, to me, the most simple ones, though. Like, I lived near a town called Colville. But I'd put money down that you fucks would pronounce it Colville if I showed you the word. It's just C-O-L-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Colville, everybody. It's Colville. But they're all, they're all native names, you know? They're just native words that I grew up with, so I know them. Yakima, Issaquah, Squim, yeah. Puyallup's one of the best. The, I don't, I can't even, like, there's not even a general pronunciation for Puyallup. It's just Puyallup, Puyallup. Puyallup, I think, is often. Coveville. Pronunciations are all over the place. I love it. They're all shortened, right? The chest, what is the chest, like, okay, this might be a really stupid question. Does the chester stand for something? Like, I'm just now realizing there's a lot of cities where we have chester in it and we just straight up do not pronounce it. What is the chester? It's got to have a root word or something like that, right? So are these just like, like little chester, big chester, sloppy chester, baby chester? Oh, it means fort. Boom. Thank you, yeet. There we go. I assumed, I just assumed that the word had to have some sort of root meaning like that. So these are probably just all forts or were or whatever. Cool. We learned today. <gasps> yes, please. I didn't know. But we've got a lot of them and we never pronounced the Chester. Even in the US, because I mean, we just stole our names from, well, stole, commandeered, whatever. You know, adopted. What is that? Evening. Gold coins. I love you. Sometimes I get a little boost from Artemis, but you. Just about all Olympus backs you up, and even still, it's exactly, not David. Yep. Somehow they are. Or, dude, the amount of mishes. Have you ever noticed that? Not to, not to like point out mish here or anything, but like Skycomish, Squinomish, Snowhomish, Skynomish. Uh, there's one up in the mountains by Leavenworth. There's another ish up there. I can't think of. There's a lot of them. I wonder if Mish means something in the native languages in Washington, I wonder. Direct your criticism to the gods there's themselves. Now what is it you want with me? Oh my god, Vile. There's a really funny YouTuber I watch called The Click. 
And recently he was reading, he like, he does commentary on Reddit posts and stuff like that. And they're fucking hilarious. He's where I find a lot of the funny Reddits that I've talked to you guys about. But uh, there was a, he was reading one of them and the name Siobhan was in the story. And he, I'm trying to think, how did he pronounce it? How did he, Siobhan. Siobhan, and he's Swedish, so he had a delightful Swedish accent on it. It was fucking, and he had no idea he was pronouncing it wrong. He was just reading it as the character. So the entirety of his YouTube video, he was talking about Siobhan, and everybody in the comments corrected him, obviously. And so now he says it facetiously all the fucking time to drive them crazy, and I love it so much. For those that don't know, Siobhan is Siobhan. I want a little taste just of Irish. All that power for myself. Come on, I'll trade you. She wants to trade my tickle for a pickle. I can cast repeatedly. She wants to take. I give that, and she gives me 60 magic. <gasps> I guess it's early on enough. I can get another boon. Oh, I hate saying no to her because I want to fuck. I'll take it. It's a deal. Right? The click is lovely. He really, really is. It's so, it's, it's infrequent that I find someone that I align with on views and just like. She's off. Like, he's just a really wholesome person, but also a filth monger like myself, and I really dig that. Siobhan! Yeah, Siobhan. How do you spell Siobhan? No shit, it's S-I-O-B-H-A-N. S-I-O-B-H-A-N, I believe is how you pronounce, is how you spell Siobhan in Irish. Or Gaelic, I should just say Gaelic, I don't know. I'm a dumb American. I don't fucking know. My name's Katie. <laughs> I got I got that there American standardized fucking name. <laughs> Mish, isn't there an actress with that name? She's really young. She was like in The Lovely Bones, I want to say. And a lot of things since then. She was really young in the Lovely Bones. Oh, what is she's got? She, I think she's Irish, actually. She's got a delightful accent. No shit. I wish. I got American, French, and fucking my last name is a fucking mystery. Give me your money, bitch. Come, ah! come, 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 come. come. What if I don't wanna? No! Bitch! Is that all? Saw rise? I think it's Serge. Uh, let me look at it again. Sersha? Sir. Sersha. I think it's like. I'm saying this sha too much. Sersha. 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 Something like that. Right? I'm putting way too much emphasis on the sh at the end. I think that's really light. Isn't the frog the cutest? Did I say it right? Fuck yes. I've just known people with these names. Please don't think I'm a cool person that just knows Gaelic. I've literally Thank actually known that. people who were cursed with these horrible names in America where no one can say their fucking name and I feel bad for them. I guess Catherine. No, Catherine's fucking... I don't know where Catherine comes from. Greek? I think Catherine's Greek. Renee's French. <laughs> I think. And my last name, probably Scottish. Ah! Mine's the K, though, which I think is Greek. Like, it was the... If it's spelled with a K, I think it's Katerin or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I was named after my dad's fucking murdered best friend, not because the name was cool, so I have no idea. <laughs> Fuck! Oh no shit, Germanic and Slavic. The Americanized spelling of Sean, everybody fucks it up. Is it Katarina? Yeah. If it's with a K, if it's with a C, it tends to be like the English, more biblical version, and with a K, it's different. Greek or something? I don't know. Um, your attack hits two times, but no longer strikes behind you. Your attack has more range and deals 50% damage to distant foes. Your Omega attack deals 40% damage and also strikes sideways. I think I tried that one. Mm, no, I haven't. Obviously, they're all... Well, they're all prophesized. Fuck it. I want that. Jaskira grows in strength. 
I think Renee can be multiple things, though, because the different spellings, like, mine's the R-E-N-E-E -E -E with the weird little so it's allegedly the French version, but there's R-E-N-A-E -E and then R-E-N-E-A, and I think they're different. I don't know, but I think, I think they're different. Oh, you... Is Sean an Irish name? Because hey, I, I did not know that. Happen to see a woodsy goddess stalking through, greenish attire, wielding a bow about her height. Ha! Huh, fuck! I didn't know that. That's cool. That's I probably one of the most common. Name, my friend, and I know she's been nosing about. That I know. Of. As a rule, I stay away from goddesses like that, even if they are your kin. That's it, ghetto. That little mark. See what I've been taught, and. Again, gendering shit is stupid, especially names. But what I was told is that S H A W N is like for a girl named Sean, and then S E A N is a man named Sean. Again, what the fuck? Why do we give a fuck? But I get that's what I was like taught, I guess. Goddess is like what? Sounds like we just you fucked up the name Sean. You fear Olympus more than you fear Kronos himself. Oh, I do. It's not Kronos that made me this way. If anything, I've grown more used to it with time. Now go find Who did your it? goddess, and be careful not to lead her here, alright? Okay, you guys remember I was talking yesterday about how I have a theory Kronos not, might not be the bad guy. No one can settle on the spelling. I mean, David, you know, that's how most of us- that's why my last name is such a mystery. We can't trace it, because Ellis Island fucked us. It's like, my family showed up from, like, Hungary, and was like, Tepehepa. And the dumb fucking Ellis Island guy was like, K, this. So now you try to look up anything and it's... Fuck all. Or what I've run into, like on my mom's side of the family, when people emigrated to America, they would put their last name as their first name or vice versa. And it would fuck up everything. It was so stupid. There's a CH, Sean, and it's pronounced... Wait. Sehon. What? Sehon. Name your child that, please. Right, dramatic, exactly. It's like L-E-A for females and L-E-E -E for males. Like, or Aaron. Aaron, that's another one. It's A-A-R-O-N. And then E-R-I-N. And I think one is considered a feminine version for some fucking fuck-all reason. <laughs> what? Their letters, their names, what? That's how I was taught to spell Megan. But again, it's because I had a friend growing up whose name was spelled that way. A A Ron present. Okay, what do I want? I think I need leather. Do I still need leather? Or whatever that is, fate fabric. I think I do. Fate fabric. Oh, is it an Irish versus an English spelling? I wonder why they changed. Like, why? We had written language. Like, why change the spelling? It seems so silly. You. It's Aaron. Like that's actually how he pronounces his name. You know what? I res I throw up respect on that. That's pretty dang. Fuck! 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 Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I hate you so much. I hate you and your mom. Come here, you little twat fuckers. Jasmine, I'm male. I love that. Good for your parents and not fucking falling into the stupid gendered bullshit trap. I think it's sad that, I mean, I knew a, I knew a boy growing up whose name was spelled E-R-I-N and he was bullied the moment anyone found out. Bullied because of the way his name was spelled? Like, tell me you have zero hobbies and nothing going on in your own, on in your own fucking life without telling me you have zero hobbies and nothing going on in your own fucking life. Oh, I f keep forgetting you can sprint through the shades, man. I get so panicked in the fight that I completely forget, but I re yeah. I need to remember to do that. Jasmine's beautiful. Beautiful name, by the way. And one of the most astoundingly smelling flowers in the world, in my opinion. Be safe, Lord Caron. I love you. It must be so frustrating, Lord Caron. Watching the dead of Erebus swallow Hold him, his name is Aaron. It's great. He'll in Baltimore, he wouldn't need a yet. nickname. It would all sound the same anyway. <laughs> 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 
you're welcome. I'm jealous, honestly. I've there's nothing wrong with my name, Katie, but like I've always been very jealous of people that have just a unique, you know, anything. Jasmine to me, that's like a mat. Like when I was a kid, I would have killed that name like that. I gotta grind up weed. Hold on. Um, Katie is just so flat American, like fucking. My parents really pulled like f top five names of the year. These ones, like my siblings, Nick, Adam, Corey, Katie, Sarah, <laughs> Katrina. You know, it just gets more basic as you go. It's, we really, no spice, no flavor, no flavor, no spice, so flat. Don't spill, little one. My Christian name's Nikita, dude, that's dope. My family calls me by my Christian name because it's shorter than my first name, and I got relentlessly bullied because everyone knows Nikita. Of course you were bullied, which is fucking bullshit. My god. Big wow. Dude, right? If Catherine were a spice, it'd be cream of tartar. <laughs> Katie, I mean, in my experience, Katie is excessively common in the US. Like, it maybe not as a birth certificate name, but as a it's a stupid common name from but like Catherine and Katrina sometimes will go by Katie. Uh there's a couple bigger names that will go by Katie, different variations of it. But like growing up, there were always more than one Katie in my class. Like I, I've never gone by Katie, like even on Twitch, I can't go by Katie, I go by CK because there's so many Katies. Like I always went by my last name or some sort of nickname because there's just too many. It was super common for me, but that might just be a West Coast thing, I don't know. <clears throat> Caitlin, that was the other name I was trying to think of. I knew what Caitlin. Um, Caitlin's another one people go by Katie. Just variations of nicknames. My parents just straight up normal Catherine. Normal. normal the most common. But yeah, like, no shit. My graduating class of students was like 35 students-ish. My high school population was less than 200 kids. And there were more than one Katie in my class. There was three. <laughs> it's like 10% of my class was named Katie. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, there were, it was a lot. It was a lot of Katie's. But you probably don't hear about us because we just kind of fade into the background and don't do anything. <laughs> we're very benign people. We just kind of like keep to ourselves. <laughs> we're Katie's. Of course we stand back and don't speak up and do our own thing all the time and wait to go home. <laughs> we're Katie's. <laughs> Cheers. Is it Greece or like Gree, which means pig in Swedish? Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Thank you, Rice. I I don't try, but I'm I'll, I'll take that. I think Katie's would love that. Honestly, I talk shit about my name. Every Katie I've ever met has been the has been a very nice person, and just like dope. <laughs> One of my good friends who streams, if you didn't know, Katie Peters plays. A an awesome Katie. Like, I've never met a Katie I didn't like, which is weird. We just tend to be very palatable. <laughs> I don't know if names have anything to do with people, but uh, I've met a lot of Katies and they all seem to just be pretty chill people. <laughs> I've never like been like, oh man, you put a bad name on my name. Yet. Dude, Fox, same, and I think it's because there's no character art yet, and it leads us all like, what the fuck? But I don't know. Moonlight guide you, my lord. This one, please. Because Charon isn't isn't ferrying people anymore. No, your boatman seems to have no trouble at all. Keeps to himself, fends for himself. I quite like him. A bunch of Zacks, yeah, no shit. In my graduating class, we had three Katie's, four Brandon's, 
four Jessicas. Like, it was insane. The Jessica was Jessica and Jennifer. Holy shit. Those na those are probably two of the ones that were worse than Katie and Sarah, to be honest. Like those were rampant. Those poor bitches. Um, Kyle was super popular. Lots of Kyles, lots of Brandons. I'm trying to think. Zach was pretty popular. There was another boy name that was copied a lot. I'll have to think of it. But yeah, it was just, it was like, I don't know if it was just a time in the 80s where people just, let's pick a basic ass name. But that being said, my mom has a really interesting name and she fucking hates her name. So I think, she, like, you know how they, it goes in, it like ebbs and flows. Like, if you have a weird name and you, weird, not standard, and your whole life you have struggled with people pronouncing it, you're probably going to give your kids names pronounceable, your, your kids pronounceable names because you lived that hell. My mom's name is Georgie, which is not a common name, especially for a girl. And it's G-E-O-R-G-I. And her whole life, people have re-spelt it for her to George and then been very shocked when a man doesn't walk in the room. Not that there's anything wrong with a woman being named George, but she fucking despises her name. And so part of me thinks, like, it was like her being like, my children's names will be pronounceable and they will not be fought with. <laughs> no, you want to know what's funny? Her nickname's Jojo. All my aunts call her Joge. Jo uh, it's a uh, Jojo or Joge, like almost like Joji, but just Joge. Joge. Interesting. Cheers. Ghetto. I mean, I've told you my grandma's name was Ethel. I have an aunt Ethel. And they, my aunt Ethel swore straight up, I said multiple times, the name will die with her. <laughs> She's vehemently insisted the name will, that family name, because it was my, my Nana's name and my great Nana's name. Both of my Nana and her mom were named Ethel Catherine. That's where I got my Catherine. And uh, my Nana named one of her daughters Ethel, and she fucking hates her name. And she... Thankfully, she had a son, so she it wasn't like, no, not a contest, but she straight up said that name would die with her. She fucking hated that name. That's not what I want. Um, Hitch. Any sacrifice boons you choose are stronger. One will be offered as soon as possible. A sacrifice boon? What's a sacrifice boon? Boon info. Nope. What's a sacrifice boon? Who is named after um, an overpowered oddball in a sci-fi book? The struggle of the teacher hitting your name every year and just looking up helplessly is real. Yep. I, I, and I empathize. I have friends with those names. And I mean, I had a teacher, I think I've told you guys, I've told you guys this before. I had a teacher in elementary school who was convinced my name was pronounced Katia. And I don't know if he was bullying me or what, but he refused to call me Katie. My name is spelled K-A-T-I-E. It is the most basic fucking, I think the most common spelling of the name Katie in the world. And I would go home and be like, Mom, he won't call me Katie and I don't know what's going on. And she's like, he's just messing with you. I'm sure he calls you Katie. No, he called me Katia for years. It was weird. My granddaughter had a great classic name, um, but with a twist of the spell, I love, I know. I remember, I remember when you shared her name. I love the name Lydia so much. And I think it's an, I think it's a fun spelling because it's not, I mean, it's pretty simple to figure out it's Lydia. It's like unique, but not fuckery. There was an Indian kid in my class. He preferred the name Kumar, but it was actually Nada Kumar. Nada Kumar? Nada Kumar. That's a beautiful name. Mishy, same. I mean, I can't joke with you when I tell you I have an Uncle Bob. Like, a Grandpa Jim and a Grandpa George. Wow. I'm doing it. I don't know what it is, but I'm a doing secret it. Secret bond. I bid you shine for me again tonight. The boatman Charon is familiar with every twisted pathway through this world. Yet I provide for him my light, nevertheless. He need not always find his way alone. I don't have an Uncle Mike, but I have an Uncle Stevo, an Uncle Jimbo, an Uncle Timmy, an Uncle Bobby, Uncle Bob. Because white trash. Gotta yeah. put that O on the end. Jimbo. 
gotta. I don't know why, but it's gotta be there. There was a teacher that pronounced my name wrong. Wait, they pronounced Zach? Stop it. They pronounced your name Zach? They pronounced Z-A-C-H. Zach? You were being bullied like me. We were being bullied. That's not, no. That's cool though, Maya. I like that. I think that's kind of fun. It's a fun way to spell it too. My Uncle Bob's a douche. All right, uh, random slow. Hmm. These are my three least favorites. I've never done this one though, fuck it. Night blue. Zatch. So mode it be. Can I just, I feel like I'd be bullying you if I call you Zatch. <laughs> what the fuck? Zash for the rest Shall of time. <laughs> Our enemy strength even exceeds my own. We're both uh, Titans, yes, Kronos and I, but he is my elder, as I am yours. What say you? I think you trained me like a pet to kill your elder because you can't do it. His age doesn't mean anything to me. The old are seldom wise and often weak. And he did not study under you, headmistress. Only I have. Just so. He is an arrogant old fool. The impression of wisdom comes with age more than the real thing. No I shit. That. A lot of the Freeman names in Dune are Arabic, and I found this out when my husband was deployed in Afghanistan, and the guys he worked with were so excited his wife had an Arabic name. <gasps> Shut up. One of their wives even made me... Oh, I love that so much. You have the coolest connection to those people? That's fucking sick. I'm straight up neighbor dating after someone murdered. I have no cool story. That's it. My dad was sad and named me that. Maybe he wanted that person back? I don't know. No, don't touch me there. That's my no 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 square. Cause mommy didn't care. She stole my underwear. Fuck. No, sisters, don't fray. Keep your seams tight. Your rippers tighter. Not my neck, me. Oh my god, first guess? Katie, who is she? No, no, no! You're a beaver! Fuck. Shit nuggets. Ha <laughs> I found you, mommy. Now give me them nips. Ah! Baby's thirsty. Oh my god. <laughs> fuck off. Hells to the yeah. Shit, fuck balls, tits, nonsense, hell, oh fuck. Wait, their name is Colorado City? Like their middle name is City? Is that like a Northwest thing? Sometimes I wonder if people, like, and this is, again, no judgment. I have multi name in the world. Like, I'm just, I wonder if people realize they're not just naming a baby or a child or a toddler. They're naming someone that has to grow up into a full fucking adult with that name. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just wonder, like, do they know? Do they think about that? Like, it might be cute when they're in their cradle and you're showing all your friends on Instagram your baby named fucking Colorado City, but when that person has to get a job and apply for college, shit's gonna get weird and complicated, and they're gonna look to you for that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just mean, fuck dick farts! Ah! Fuck! I'll make this count. Oh, it's a Colorado City. Okay, my bad. I think Durango means something. Remind, I think it means it like has, fuck off my cock dick ass bitch farts tits. I am not doing well. Shit piss. Fuck cunt cocksucker motherfucker tits fart turd and twat. I fucked your mom. Satisfactory. Two health and a dream, always. Why, why is that my thing? You will discure capably. I can tell the bond you share is strong. Now, farewell. 
My best friend in high school's middle name was Sunshine. She hated it. Four health, health in a dream, excuse me. Four health in a dream. Fucking always. Always. The, f I, the frog, I think, saved me from it one time. Oh, there's sexy. Which one would help? Grandpappy? What do I have right now? Um, let's go serious. It's business. It's business time. Fudge. You seem to know your way around. I am master of this realm. Yet even I would never venture into yonder woods. You even found your way back from your detour in Asphagel. Tom's titty <laughs> The fates cannot help you now. Wait, am I fighting you? Stop. Tis a pity that okay. this granddaughter of mine is both a weakling and a fool, though an elusive one. I ought to thank the fates that we have met at last. Huh? The fates had nothing to do with this. You took my family. Our family. Make not to their same mistakes. And in time, we surely shall grow past this halted start to our relationship. I shall see you later. Hmm. Wait. <coughs> you. I have so many questions about him. Don't tell me anything, but I have a lot of questions. <sighs> Aw. All right, Frog, let's fucking do this. That shade needs you, Freenos. See you he does a karate rides. kick in the air, I think. I've decided. It's precious. It's perfect. I love him so much. Freenos is so cute. Oh, boy. Money. Oh, I should have harvested that. Whoops. I don't have high hopes for this run anymore, and I should, because I can get a Death Defiance back. Don't give up, Katie. Ah! <laughs> Bitch. I love that little frog so much. Like, I'm gonna have a hard time. I know there's eventually gonna be more than one familiar to choose from. Like, how does one say no to the other? It feels mean. Suck it, you butt face. Freenos, best boy forever. Look at that little shit. So precious, so perfect. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Kronos! The source of all your problems. Death to Kronos. So much of your hatred from him, for him, comes to you secondhand. See? Fear not. Ere this is over, you shall know each other well. Uh-oh. Narcissus. The irony of this one's punishment was lost on him. Such was his longing for a, be for a beauty he alone possesses. Even still, he gazes at his own reflection. Depending on who you ask, the love of oneself is either a virtue or a sin. Have you a position on the subject? I'd like to love myself a little. Eris, we have night to thank for many of the primordial forces without which the world as we know it scarce can be imagined. Strife, for better or worse, is one such force. She scoffs at any sort of order, natural or otherwise. You are drawn to her like a moth to a flame. Oh, really? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, David, it's the motherland. Look for the corns. There are many. Wait, can I fish? Hell yeah! Alright, fish. I don't know if I fished here yet. I don't think so. I always need to blink so bad when... Yeah, fishy. I hate this. Ugh, oh, bitch. 